Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to find remaining roots of an equation. I will do this by solving a quartic function, which means its leading term has degree of 4. Let's take a look at our equation. Our equation is 4x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed minus 25x squared plus x plus 6. And our given roots are x equals negative 2 and x equals 3. And we should find the remaining roots. First of all, we need an equation. I chose our equation to do this. And we need an x value, which is 2 here. And I will show you how to do synthetic substitution now. First, we are writing 2 here. We will put the coefficient of these terms side by side, which is 4, negative 4, negative 25, 1, and 6. I will make a line here. This is... I will take this 4 down here without touching it. I will multiply these two and write here. And I will add these two and write here. And I will multiply these two again. Right here. And I will add these two and write them here. I will do this until it's finished. Negative 34. Negative 33. Negative 6. Negative 66. Negative 60. This number gives the value, value of the function when we plug 2 in place of x. Now, you know how to do synthetic substitution. Let's solve our equation. First of all, I will write my first x value to here, negative 2. Then I will write my coefficients. 4, negative 4, negative 25, 1, and 6. I will make a line here, take 4 down here, and then multiply. Negative 8. Add negative 12, multiply 24, add negative 1, multiply 2, add 3, multiply negative 6, and 0. This is our remainder, which means this is our new quotient. And I will write my second x value to here, which is 3. I will make the same line here, and I will do the same process. Now I don't I won't do this zero. Take four down here, multiply twelve, add zero, multiply zero, add negative one, multiply negative three, add zero. This is our second remainder, which means our new quotient is this. And our remainder is this. Now I will write the x values next to these co coefficients and I will find my equation, new equation. 4x squared plus 0x which means nothing, negative 1. This is the constant term. I can show my equation now as multiplications of this x plus 2 and x minus 3 well when I look at them I know my zeros negative 2 for this 3 for this I should find the zeros for this so I will say 4 x squared minus 1 equals 0 4 x squared equals 1 
x squared equals 1 over 4 x equals square root of 1 over 4 and I should say plus or minus because it's in square root and we have real coefficients here so this is plus or minus 1 over 4 square root of 1 over 4 I can say that x equals plus or minus 1 over 2 well these are my remaining two remainders and I can write the whole equation as P of A sorry P of X equals well I will show this as well we said X equals 1 over 2 and we said X equals negative 1 over 2 so I can say that 2x equals 1 and 2x equals negative 1 so I can write these as 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 and I can see my zeros here negative 1 over 2 1 over 2 here, 3 here, and negative 2 here. Thank you for watching my video.